Okay. Is it red right up top? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. I love how we start ever so professional every week we do this. Anyways, hi everybody, I'm Treble and these guys are Dawn and first off, thank you so very much. I understand Saturday mornings, not always the easiest thing to like be all bright eyed and bushy tailed for. I've been known to like drag my ass in here and not be coherent so I do appreciate that you were up there giving your all. It was absolutely okay. phenomenal. Yay, Ashley, I love you playing me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the proud mom's here too, so we can do this. She's so good, I love it. Anyways, we will start with the youngest member, I think, right? So we'll start with you, introduce yourselves, and then we'll get to like real questions. All right, <laughs> so I'm Ashley, I'm the bass player. I've been in the band for about two months. Right. I'm Danielle, um, I sing, and about a year and a half. Okay, I'm Phil. I play guitar, write the songs, and I started this band in the 90s. Oh, wow. I don't want to kill the drummer. I've been playing drums for 44 years. And how long have you been with the band? Six years. All right. Wow. So it's had quite a few inceptions, I know. I've seen them play with Cheryl. Um, hey, Cheryl. And um, so. What? I think you know where you're in a couple of them, you know, with, yeah, yeah. Um, that yeah. audio pilots thing, yeah. which we'll get oh, to, right. actually. Oh. We're totally, we're totally, yeah. what do you think this is for? It's all about the plugging of the bands. We'll get to that. Starting with Ashley, again, you're going to be like the starter. So it's like, so cool. How long have you been playing bass? How'd you get into it? I know you come from the musical family, blah, 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 but how'd you start playing? How long you been playing? All that other fun stuff. It's gonna be a long story. <laughs> we got time. All right. Um, click notes version. Oh, screw that. <laughs> That's your mom. Be nice. I love you, mommy. Oh, I love you. I love you. Tommy, be nice. All right. So I started playing. Squirrel. All right. Go, Ashley. Uh, I started playing when I was. Well, I got my bass for Christmas because I was listening to Marilyn Manson's Rock is Dead, heard the bass line perfectly and wanted to play. But I can't remember any of the other questions you asked me. <laughs> so that's how you got in it. So that's how long you've been playing. I think that kind of covered it. That was totally cliff version. It was not a long story, honey. I could have made it longer. Okay, Danielle. Okay. How long have you been singing? How to start? Um, I started doing like musical theater when I was just a little kid, so I've been singing for quite a while. Um, my favorite inspirations are Billie Holiday and Janis Joplin, so, so yeah, very cool. So. Um, well, I've been playing guitar uh, since I was 24. <laughs> I learned after I got into college, and it took me a long time to graduate. <laughs> Because I was playing guitar a lot, um, and uh, I don't know, um, it's kind of, you know, the uh, reason I got into it is I, I grew up playing piano, um, I, I come from a musical family, my mother had me piano lessons since I was like in first grade, so I can play piano also, but I just love the sound of the guitar, I heard Boston on the radio once when we came up here to the U.S., and I just love that sound, I wanted to play that. So when I finally got a chance to get out from my parents' house, I talked to my brother to buy me a guitar and uh, I've been ever since. <laughs> Tell us about the 44 years. Yeah. Uh, I started out with a guy when I was nine years old. His name was Ace Miller. I was beating on his uh, son's drum set and I wanted to play drums. So he's the one that got me inspired to play, got me an old practice pad and old sticks. And I started playing since I was nine, so I'm 53, so I've been playing like 44 years. So I got started. Very cool. Actually, we are going youngest to oldest. We are. Oh, no, I think I break this. Well, but you're the host. You're trouble. You're allowed to break I any mean, barriers. I, I do. She's breaking all the barriers. All right. So I'm going to start with you. Are you in any other bands? I'm in a band called Audio Pilots. I've been with this for five months. And they're playing tonight. And we're playing at the runway tonight. Hopefully yeah. we get on at 9 o'clock. 
Yes. So, uh, if anybody's interested, you can come on, spot on the car, cover tours if you need. So, but it's point. worth it. But it's worth it, because we're good. And there's, like four bands. and there's four bands, I don't remember the other ones, but there's four bands. Well, so, people who watch the show have seen you guys. They yes. know you're good. They know you're yeah, worth it. We are. We're worthy. So, awesome. Are you in any other bands? Uh, I'm not in any actual other bands. I record a lot for other people. I do studio work. I, I am also a guitar instructor. I give lessons. Um, I spend most of my time writing music for myself and my living. So that's what I focus on. You guys, are you in any other bands, or do you do anything else? No, no. Uh, I do. I do write. What a look! I do write a lot of my own music, but you know, I'm thinking about starting to record and you know get a very close. What's, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, like a little just me project. That's a solo, solo career. Yeah, solo, there we go. Good morning. <laughs> it wasn't me this time, I knew the word. <laughs> but yeah, so. Cool. And do you guys have a, I think you have a Facebook page, or I'm not sure. Yes. And Reverb Nation, all sorts of stuff. If yes. people want to hear your music, where can they go? Where can they find out about it? All right, well, we're everywhere you can think of going. Uh, we have the official website, dawnrocks.com, and there's links to our uh, YouTube channel there, our Facebook page, our MySpace page. Yes, we still have one of those. Uh, <laughs> That's when you know they're old. <laughs> <laughs> we're also on Reverb Nation. We're also on Last FM. Um, and yeah, you can find us pretty much anywhere. You just got to look for Dawn. You got to use all capitals. Otherwise, you might get lots of chicks who are not a band. Anyway. I don't think we want to go there, although we usually end up somewhere near there with the show. I just don't know how that happens. And when are you guys playing? I need to Anyway, try so hard to be good. Where are you guys playing next? Um, our next show, uh, July 14th, is our next officially scheduled one. Uh, we're going to be playing a, uh, a, a thing for uh, military families. It's at a east side of uh, uh, EFW, I guess what they call those things. Uh, don't know the Excel address yet because they haven't given that to me, but it'll be on Facebook, it'll be on Facebook and I will be promoting that pretty heavily. But it's, uh, it's to raise funds for uh, military families who are you know, struggling with uh, stuff with people overseas and so very very cool something you want to support but I'm gonna push something else a little bit later for July 14th because I kind of have a little something happening here. Um, Amber who's playing tonight here? Blank look. Vent. So once we, we definitely have to give major props to the River's Edge. We absolutely love them. Hottest bartenders in town. Tonight they have been. <laughs> they save me like every Saturday morning. We love her. Um, so tonight they have been playing. We have like other people. Where are you playing, Danny? At the Oracle Inn? Yeah. So like Wild Ride is playing at the Oracle Inn and Benjamin Hyde is playing at the stadium. And there's all kinds of things. There's great music in this town and you people really need to go out and support it because that's what this show is about. That's what Matt and Holly let me do every Saturday morning. They put up with my shit just to give. I know, right? I do not give me a camera and a microphone. Shit, you know, I'm screaming. It's amazing. <laughs> so you definitely want to go out and support local music. Um, so there are going to be some announcements we've got coming up. Speaking of the Ridge River's Edge and the support that they do, July 14th, I think it's four weeks from now, maybe five, I don't know. Um, I have an annual birthday party this year. We decided to give back, and we've got a bucket up there right now for the Marana Food Bank, also Emerge Center to, for Domestic Violence. It used to be called Brewster House. We're going to have a benefit. It's going to start about 10, 10.30 in the morning. 
Brian Hoffner's going to be up on stage doing a one-man act. It's going to go through a whole bunch of different bands. It's going to end the night. Um, Billy Moon Project, who played here two weeks ago on the show, absolutely phenomenal. They're going to lead into the Benjamin Hyatt Band, who's going to close out the whole night. It's going to be going all day. We're going to have music on stage. We're going to have um, Matt and Holly are, are doing a trip for two to Vegas. They're going to start selling raffle tickets tomorrow for that. We're going to have a lot of the beer distributors and stuff are donating things. Some of my friends are donating things. If anybody out there wants to, that would be cool. We're going to have a food bucket out there. Anybody who wants to come in and bring a non-perishable food item, they're going to give you 50 cents off your first drink if you do that. So that's really cool too. That's in a month. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff going on with that. Um, tonight, Vent, all the other bands, July 14th, they're doing that. So like, you can come here, enjoy the music, go there, support them, and then come. Are you guys playing later? Is it going to be earlier? Okay, so it's early, and then they can everybody can like head back over here and finish off the night with Benjamin Hyatt. That's totally worth it. Absolutely love them. Their managers here. Wherever Keith Lamp, one of the members, is here, is he outside? I'm amazed. He's in the sunlight. <laughs> he didn't uh, what? I know. It's like I had to tell him what that big orb. That big orb. I usually just walk out there, and it's like red rum. Anyways, I digress. Always. Um, you have a demo coming out, Dawn, and nobody's mentioned this yet. I just thought about it right now. Okay, yeah. So the show's the, about promoting the, the your reason. Stuff. We're, the reason we're not doing a lot of shows right now is because we're in the midst of trying to record our demo. Uh, that a couple of promoters and the record company Sony's been uh, bugging us about. So we're trying to get uh, a five-song demo recorded. Um, when that comes out, we'll be sending it to all the bars and everybody around, you know, so you can ask us. We'll probably be selling the shows, yeah. handing them out, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, we're just uh, working on that next big project here. So, okay. That's, that's why we don't have lots of shows. But that'll work out in the end. And Ashley, you have to do a shout out. Oh, to uh, Carlos, he's our guitar player. He kind of makes fakes. He's working. He's got a job in the life. Yeah, so. the whole, he's, a, he's delivering mail today. So it's shocking. A musician with a day job to pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> that means he doesn't live with mom and dad or dad <laughs> <laughs> who puts up with me this week. Okay, we know that story. Yes, we do. <laughs> but she's cute and lovable. Not like that other one. <laughs> That's very nice. miles I know we can talk shit. I totally am loving this. He's not here to break my tooth and talk shit to me. So I can like, yeah, but Izzy. No, I love you, Izzy. You know that. <laughs> All right, that's I'm so horrible. That's, yeah, that's about enough of this. So we're going to let them take another few minute break maybe or just focus themselves and then they're going to get back up on stage. Yeah, Joe, you have, you have to like push buttons again. Oh, which I know. Which you one? know what? If I'm going to have a quote unquote roadie, what better roadie to have than Joe Tony from Gods of Rats, right? Yes.